Okay, welcome back and Happy New Year. If you've been following along with the channel, I took a long break um, after doing all those first person shooters, you know, got about halfway through Halo 2 and then just got so sick and bored with Halo 2. You know, I loved doing Doom 3 and Duke Nukem and Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, and I was sitting on all the Halo content that had been stored on my 360's hard drive for years. You know, ODST, Halo 3, Reach. And I was like, alright, well, I'll do the 10 year anniversary Halo Combat Evolved, I'll do Halo 4, and those I really enjoyed. And then I got to Halo 2 and I just got sick of the... <laughs> Halo 2, did a half of it, took three months off, but now we're back and we're going to treat ourselves today. We're going to do a retro game. It's been a long time, and not only are we doing a retro game, we are doing a really good retro game. We're doing TMNT 3, Manhattan Project on NES. We're playing it on the Kevtris. We'll go ahead and get started. Cowabunga! And... What's great about this is that all four turtles have special moves. And the special moves do cost life. I believe that's sometimes referred to as extra joy. At least in the final fight games. Got a fun little story, fun new, unique adventure for the turtles. And this is hands down the absolute best beat em up on the NES. I don't think we're going to be doing this like deathlessly or we're even going to get through it. This is a really, really hard game. Uh, really meant to be a two player game, but this is hands down the best beat em up on the NES and I would say an easy top 10 game on the NES. It's always kind of a shock to me that, uh, you know, that there's so much debate about, you know, what are the top 10 games on NES. It's very simple. You know, there's uh, Mario 3, one of the two Zelda games. I prefer the second one. Also got a better point system for getting uh, extra lives. But yeah, um, Mario 3, Zelda or Zelda 2, uh, Castlevania 3, an easy top 10 game. Ninja Turtles 3. Less points, or excuse me, fewer points for those throws. By the way, the reason I picked Wrath is because his special move is incredibly useful. And one of the ways that I think, um, that I remember, because I've gotten to Shredder once on a really good playthrough. A long time ago, probably as a teenager. And I remember Raphael having, one of the best strategies is to, when you're low on health and against a boss, spam the special move. Let's see, 
some other top 10 games on the NES. Uh, probably Double Dragon 2. That's another great two-player game. Super C, another great two-player game. You can throw Jackal in there. It's got you got to have at least one Mega Man game on there. You could pick any one of them, two through seven. And I think we're getting close to an extra life. Oh, I hate when that happens. I thought it was 30,000. Maybe it's uh, like 35,000 or whatever. Uh, we left a lot of points on the table. Too many throws. And this game very stingy with the pizza. And the levels are also long too. battle against Rocksteady. Bam. Oh good, we did beat him without losing our life. I'm gonna rack up an extra life, so good job on stage one. But this is a tough game, we'll see how far we can get. So many improvements made between this, or excuse me, um, over, uh, the, uh, TMNT2 arcade game, which is a pretty weak port. I've already done it on my channel. I was able to beat it, I think, without using a single continue. Um... I know you can rack up points fighting these guys, but too risky, so we're just gonna avoid them if we can. But the sprites in this, much better looking. 
much larger. Uh, got some slowdown. Stay to the stay to the far side of the I'm having a terrible time with the uh, surfing portion of this level. Like even these sprites look much better. I remember these sprites looking terrible in uh, the uh, NES port or just the in um, TMNT2 on the um, highway surf, highway skate stage. I am having a really good time playing this game. I still love this game after all this time. Yeah, definitely a top 10 NES game, without a doubt. amazed at how good this game looks on the Kevtris. I was expecting it to look like kind of crummy, but I'm pleased. This is a uh, pretty sharp, there's, I mean, it's, it's a little pixelated, but, you know, this is an HDMI on the glorious Kevtris, which has been collecting a little bit of dust while I go through a bunch of Xbox 360 games, but... And I am going to do more 360 games, by the way. Uh, little spoiler alert. Um, I'm going to be doing, now that the World Cup is over, the 2022 World Cup ended with Argentina and Lionel Messi winning the trophy. 
man, this game really stingy with pizza. I don't think I've gotten a single one. jump kick him from behind like that. Ah, and I did it again. Ah, lost the life. Uh, oh, and it lets you pick a new turtle after each life. We're gonna stick with Wrath. That's not too tough a boss battle. With a little practice, I probably could have done better. Alright, now here comes the longest, most frustrating level, I think. Or, excuse me, no. Is it this one? Or it's either this one or the next one. I think this one is fine. I think it's the next one that's the city level that's really long. easy way to beat these guys is just to spam the throw. Get close to him and spam the throw. Yeah. Great music. Raphael, because his weapon is so short, it's a little bit harder to do that throw spam trick. But if you have Donatello or Leonardo, it's actually very simple. These guys suck. And I guess anytime you see those very basic purple foot clan, you need to think of them as 
an opportunity to rack up points. Loving that uh, shell attack. Not giving me. I think there's a pizza coming up, but man, I could have done better on Slash. Yeah, there's the pizza. And hopefully I can rack up another extra life and with a couple with a little bit more points. Not at 150,000 points. Gonna be a little while longer before I can get some, get another extra life.
time for Bebop. This isn't too difficult, but it is kind of tedious. Very tedious. In Konami fashion, they will start flashing when the boss is about to be defeated. No life bar. And holy cow, Bebop taking a beating. This jump kick is, I think the jump kick is kind of nerfed, at least against bosses. Goodness, that took a while. Now this coming up is the long, tough level. If you had this game on your NES, and you had like a friend that you played it with, you probably have a ton of great memories, or maybe a sibling, a brother or sister, you probably have a lot of very fond memories of this game, and you should. This is truly one of the really fun beat-em-ups, and it is quite a challenge. Um, on two players though, if you both get good at it, this game can be beat. On one player, this is a really tough game to beat solo. It was meant to be beaten two player. I think they could have put a few more pizzas in though. But I've complained about how TMNT 2 on NES is uh, a little too easy. So this one probably has uh, the best balance for a beat him up. And 
hopefully we're getting close to another extra life. Uh, Should have known that was gonna happen. There we go. Extra life. Alright, let's watch out for the... As long as I'm losing lives on the bosses and not... not during these uh, normal engagements. I think that's a pretty good strat, or it's a good run. I've never mentioned it before on this channel, I absolutely love beat-em-ups. One of my favorite genres of video games. I grew up during the era of uh, beat-em-ups, you know, the early 90s. You know, the original Ninja Turtles arcade game, loved it. The Simpsons, X-Men. Oh, these guys, yikes. Knights of the Round, King of Dragons. Ooh, I hope there's a pizza coming up. and, of course, the final fight games. Oh, and I probably haven't mentioned, um, I always try to make a mention of what the price is going for. Or at least I have been meaning to, and I think I goof up and forget a lot of times when I do these, uh, commentaries. Uh, TMNT 3 Manhattan Project is still a fairly affordable game on the NES, considering what a high quality game it is uh, 35 40 dollars so uh, at this point on eBay which I think is reasonable anything more than 50 I mean it's in my opinion it's probably worth it for this is you know uh, these are the ones that do the body splash. strategy is good for uh, these weaker purple.
If you're gonna take the damage, you might as well just extra joy. I wanna get them away from the manhole. So close. Let's see if it's gonna refill my life before I go down to the sewer or give me a pizza. If I do, I'm gonna kick myself. Uh, no, doesn't look like it refilled my life. Goodness, this guy is, uh... There we go. Alright, so here comes... Dirtbag. Oh no, first the, uh... First the Foot Clan, then Dirtbag. Coming back. Fairly simple pattern. There we go, 
just wanted to finish him off quickly. And this level, I think, is manageable. I love this level, by the way. Awesome theme. Very cool look. It's not a platformer if you don't fight in the sewer. Or, excuse me, it's not a beat-em-up if you don't have a sewer level. thing about a level like this at sewer level is you can always jump down force the enemies to come to you gives you just a little bit of an advantage but I need to be smarter about the let them get the jump on me like that I can make it to 300,000, I'll get another extra life. I hope. These weird enemies here, some kind of kamikaze. Yeah, that's the biggest problem, is I'm letting them get the jump on me. Okay, I think one more ought to do it. There we go, extra life. Found the sweet spot. Boss battle time already? It's a big Mauser, right?
just gotta keep moving. Oh, spam time. Lost the life. And I think there is a pizza coming up, so we'll go ahead and Oh my goodness. There we go, finally. Because I think, isn't it Baxter Stockman we fight at the end of this level? Oh, no pizza. At the end of the stage. No, but we do get pizza. Oh, it's boss battle time, I think. Against Leatherhead, I believe. So let's try and figure out his attack pattern. Of jump kicks seem to be working. Not the most fun fight, but. Still having a hard time dodging his scatter shot.
Uh, it looked like he was backing up for some kind of charge attack. I'd like to avoid that. I'm not sure what happens there. Looks like he's giving me the mandible claw. And look at this, we've already been playing for over 53 minutes, only through five stages. All right, Technodrome. This is a long game. Those le They needed to trim down some of those levels. They're fun, and this is a great beat-em-up, and it's challenging. And you definitely get more bang for your buck. And that sucks when they are completely parallel. They get caught in that loop where they're completely parallel. But I really feel like, you know, just maybe it's just because I'm trying to do as well as I can on it. On I just feel like, wow, you know, this is a game that you'd have to play over and over to get really good at. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Not sure what the strategy is for them. A couple of throws. Should be close to another extra life. Not sure if there's anything you can do to prevent those things from splitting up. Spoiler alert, this is not the final level. There's still uh, quite a bit to go after this. It, you know, it, talking about beat-em-ups, it really does bum me out that I'm not going to be able to do, like, Final Fight 2, Knights of the Round, King of Dragons. Those are some of my favorite games on Super Nintendo. Extra Life, by the way. But, uh, because I don't have a HDMI SNES, I have no way to do it.
these things are pretty tough to track down. And obviously some are going to come out of the other TV too. I'd love to do Final Fight 1. I actually uh, got really good at Final Fight 1 on SNES a long time, like five or six years ago, and uh, beat it. It's not an easy game. Just the right distance away from those guys to do the throw spam with uh, Raphael because of his short weapon. Guy's not gonna come to life. Oh, what a shame. You totally expect him to. dodge one or I can fight enemies. I have a really hard time doing both. And I'm having a really tough time gauging his uh, attack pattern.
practice on this guy. That's kind of the annoying thing about this game, is you'd have to play for over an hour before you got an opportunity to practice on him again. Rack up some more points before. Nope, guess not. I left off. Yeah, continue. Stick with breath. Oh no, it makes me start all the way back from the Technodrome. Okay, well, we're not uh, we're not gonna do that unless it lets me pick up a Shredder. Yeah, no, that's okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop here. We got to the first Shredder fight. Um, so the moral of the story is I need to be good enough to get at least past that first Shredder fight before losing all, all my lives. Uh, not quite there yet. And um, had a good time. Fun game. Uh, definitely a welcome break back to retro games and away from Xbox 360 games. But I will be doing more 360 games soon. So anyway, uh, thanks for swinging by and we'll do something fun again later.